What you just heard uh, is a snapshot of what's been going on, and I think what we all know is that the condition of women uh, is very dispositive about the kinds of transformations that are occurring in a society. So if you look at the condition of women, you begin to get a picture of overall um, how that's going, how it's trending, and what potentially worse will happen. Uh, you have the specter of uh, President Erdogan talking about uh, the need to have a Turkish style of presidency, and increasingly that appears to be authoritarian. You have him talking about a Turkish style of a constitution, and that appears to be without checks and balances. Uh, and he's been talking about this Turkish style of women's rights, and very specifically says those are not Western rights, as though we weren't all bound by universal human rights, uh, and has gone out of his way to say that the role of women is preordained, uh, that it is set by religion, uh, that um, women, in fact, uh, have their roles and, and really shouldn't be in those places, like our parliamentarian, I would imagine, uh, where the decisions get made mostly by men who belong in those places. Um, he has talked about the need to uh, have children, for women to have at least three children, depending, not even depending on their circumstances, but five would be more optimal. So you've got this steady drumbeat uh, every time he seems to speak to this topic um, that then cavalcades and, and, and moves into uh, the kinds of things that are our colleagues have been describing. Um, the whole issue of violence against women, as you just heard from the lawyer, uh, is one that is um, becoming a scourge. Uh, and the, the, the sense of uh, impunity, the fact that I won't be prosecuted. So, you know, one of the highest femicide rates in the world, you can't imagine, it's Turkey.